I'm playing with my gel plate here in my new studio, trying uh, printing on some already printed papers. I have this dictionary page here. And these I'm going to use for collage papers. So I'm not trying to make images here. I'm just trying to make pretty papers. So let's try that. That's Indian yellow hue, which is a really luminous, transparent, deep yellow. Yeah. Let's do another one of those. I found this dictionary at uh, the post office. Someone had left it there as a freebie. Great, so now we've got two that are fairly similar. With the first one, I'm gonna, let's see, print white over that. I'm gonna use this butcher's twine as a mask. You can see I've already used it. It's got that gray, deep gray paint on it, but it's dry, so it shouldn't interfere with this process. Oh yeah, nice. So now I'll remove the string and pick up called the ghost print. Sometimes this takes a couple of pulls to get that previous layer of paint off. Okay, so the string pattern is somewhat evident in there. I'm gonna put some more paint down. Let's have this fairly subtle. I'm gonna use an off-white Titan buff. I'm going to use the same sheet. Yeah, so it's got a little more paint on it, a little more subtle. Another paper I want to try are these magazine pages that have some imagery, some text, even some color. I think for this one I'm going to use this size, this side. Primary magenta. Ooh, look at that. Okay, so that's leaving the image on the gel plate. So how do we make use of that? Maybe just a sheet of cheap drawing paper. Oh yeah. Well now we know an interesting way to, <laughs> to get images. Wow, not sure what I'm gonna do with that. I'm going to use quinacridone magenta over the primary magenta. So it should be sort of low contrast paper. This might just completely obliterate the image, but we'll see. This might be more subtle than I anticipated. Yeah, kind of lost the image there. Oh well. Let's see what happens with this magazine page. This is primarily kind of a yellowish to brown, kind of mustard yellow to brown. I'm gonna put a transparent pyrrole orange over it. And I'm tempted to do a little masking here with the string. Said. Hmm. Okay, so that's got some really interesting bits in it. That in particular, and of course, the type now is bright orange. Let's see if I can pick that up with a Chinese newspaper. Oh, 
Yeah. Nice. And then since uh, subtlety was not my friend last time, let me try overprinting that with yellow rather than a different orange. There. Let's try this magazine image on white. Kind of interesting thing about using printed materials and different papers is that they not only pick up the paint differently from each other, but they also, some of them, as we saw, leave something on the plate. Another paper I've wanted to try is coffee filters. They're pretty strong and they make um, they make pretty good transparent or translucent collage material. So let's just try a straight pull, one color. And while we're at it, let's see, maybe another dictionary page to pick up parts around it. So we get that, and I don't know if there's any surprises with the coffee filter. Just interesting textures from the previous prints. Try that in magenta. Coffee filter here. Coffee filter here. And then use the same dictionary page. So we get that. And the coffee filters. Okay, so they do have a nice little texture to them. this red printed New Yorker page I'll print orange over it so it'll be a, should be a fairly low contrast kind of tone on tone pattern yeah pretty subtle <laughs> 